Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So we have a bit of a throwback video for you guys today. And let me give you the quick backstory. Back in 1996, I went to my first tournament ever in Danvers, Massachusetts, USA. And it was called the Witch City Open. Now I went there just as a spectator because I knew all the UK professionals would fly in to play darts. I just wanted to watch those guys play. Well, anyway, the first professional that I ever met was Dennis Priestley. And uh, ended up playing cribbage with him later on at night. And for my first tournament ever to be able to play cribbage with a world champion dart player, man, what an incredible experience. And ever since then, I've been the biggest fan ever. Just a huge fan of Dennis, incredibly nice guy. But if we fast forward to 2007, that's when they came out with these, the Winmore Dennis Priestley Golden Edition. And these were actually in his player weight, 15 grams. They released these in an incredibly limited number, and they were super hard to find back then, so you can imagine how hard they are to find here in 2020. I was fortunate enough to find a complete set. Now, I've been searching for these darts for the better part of eight years, and I have seen zero sets of these things. So I figured I'd share them with you guys. We'll take a close-up look, and since I'm not a collector, I think darts are made to be thrown. So we're going to take them to the board. We'll see how they fly. And uh, I'm not going to use the original stems and flights, of course, but we'll definitely throw these things after we take a close-up look. So here we go. Well, there we go. The Winmore Dennis the Menace Priestly darts, as you see, just comes in your standard plastic hand case. These were actually the weight that Dennis used back in the day. I think he started his career at 14 grams. He went to 15 grams. Then he ended his career on a 17 gram dart. Funny enough, if you flip this over, just to give me an idea how old these are, Dennis, the Menace Priestly, only plays on the Winmore Blade 3. So this was before the Blade 4 even came out. And as you know, we're on the Blade 5. 2007 is the date there. So let's crack these things open. We'll get a close-up look. And then to the board we go. Well, there we go. I hope you guys understand why I didn't want to unfold these flights and install them into the back of the stems. I'd rather keep them as is. But I find it funny that these darts are so incredibly small, and Dennis is not a small guy at all. He's about six foot tall, and uh, used to work in a coal mine, so he's got some big, strong coal miner's hands. And these darts are just so, so tiny. But with that being said, let me give you some stats and dimensions. They are a 90% tungsten barrel with a tight gold titanium coating, and the barrel length 40.8 millimeters short. And at the widest point, right here in the front, 6.5 millimeters wide. And as I mentioned before, 15 grams. Let's get a close-up look at these things. Well, there we go. Nice close-up look there. If you'll notice the menace stamped on the back end of these barrels. And I don't know how well that gold shows up with the red background, but man, what a beautiful gold titanium coating. And looking at the grip, it's just a plain, basic, multi-ring grip design. I'd say the grip level is probably about a two and a half on a scale of one to five. And if you'll notice here, it is front-loaded, but it's not as pronounced as on the heavier versions. If you look at the 21 gram darts, that they have a more bulbous front end. I mean, these are virtually almost a straight barrel dart, not quite. You do notice the front end, but really not all that much. But anyway, let's uh, get these on the board for a few throws and see how they fly. Here we go guys, quick couple minutes with the 15 gram Winmore Dennis the Menace Priestly Darts Golden Edition. Ooh, that's a good start, right? Huh? Mm. 107, I'm supposed to end with that 171. Let's start with it. <laughs> but yeah, they fly super nice. Uh, I only warmed up for about uh, just a couple throws because I didn't want to beat on them too much. But one thing I noticed, I love, love a gold-coated dart. just feels warm right out of the package. I picked them up, and they feel warm in your hands compared to a natural tungsten dart. You know, have, uh, you know how you have to play with it for a few minutes for it to feel warm? Well, the gold version just feels nice right from Jump Street. And actually, I've played with these darts for a couple years. I bought a set from A180 darts probably back in 2009. It was a silver set, the silver 15 gram version. So I use those for a couple years, probably 2009 to 2011. And from there, that's when I switched to the 14 gram Ted Hankey dart. And from there, I've made a few switches since. But man, I've always, always loved this barrel. 
Really nice starts. And I think the grip is spot on, probably uh, two and a half, like I said earlier. Very mild grip, and it comes off the fingertips really well. And I love that um, the, the loaded front end. I rest my pointer finger right on the front of that bulbous spot on the front of the barrel. So you can get an accurate, repeatable grip each and every time. And I keep throwing that first dart wide left. Yeah, I'm going a little left with these things. I think with this really short 40 millimeter barrel, I think I need a little bit longer stem and I think they would go, they would go much more straight. But last throw here. Ah, bullseye. Oh, and it's in. All right, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this throwback look at the, whoops, at the 2007 Winmore Dennis Priestley darts, the 15 gram golden version. Just something different. Little uh, look at a sneak peek into my little collection. Anyway, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Hey, leave a comment too.